So guys, if you saw me running around like a headless chicken on the side of the M6 near Rugby Services, this is why. My lorry caught on fire, fully loaded with cow. And you know what? I had one of these fire sticks in the side of the locker and I am so, so grateful I had one. Hi, so I've got Becky here from St Mary's uh, Livestock. Going to tell you how to fire recently with the uh, fire safety stick? Yes, I did. So what happened? <laughs> so I was driving down the M6 and uh, someone was beeping at me to pull over. So obviously in that sort of situation, you do pull over because you don't know if they've got a flat tire on the trailer or anything because you can't see it in the mirrors. So I pulled over and as I was slowing down, I was fully loaded with livestock. Um, so obviously I didn't just slam on my brakes and stop. As I was slowing down, smoke started coming from my wheel. Um, and then I was like, oh no. Um, so I ended up going all the way, I wasn't too far away from the really wide bit of the M6 uh, near Rugby Services on the hard shoulder because I thought that was a lot safer. Um, I jumped out and um, I saw flames coming from my, my wheel through my mid-lift wheel. Um, so I have the fire safety stick in my side locker so I pulled it out not actually reading the instructions while I rip the box open because in that situation you don't read the instructions and I didn't read the instructions before actually putting it in the side locker so um, didn't understand how to work it so uh, I gave luckily I had my best mate with me I gave uh, the stick to my best mate and um, I unhitched the trailer while obviously the lorry was still on fire because I was fully loaded I didn't want the livestock to become burgers already. Yep. Um, so I pulled the lorry off the trailer, pulled it down the uh, hard shoulder a bit more, got that again, still figuring out how to use it. It took about 10 minutes, uh, but it felt like 30 minutes. Worked out how to use it, ended up pulling off the handle, which you're not actually meant to do. Yep. Realized that I'd left the yellow bit next to the trailer, so ran back down to the trailer, pulled it, got it back, and then striked it and just stuck it in the hole. And then it went out. Yeah. So, really yeah. that simple. So then, uh, obviously, put the fire out straight away, which is great. Uh, and then the fire brigade arrived. Yeah. Yeah. And it took them 40 minutes to work out whether to pour a bucket of water over my brakes just to cool them down. Um, by that time, the trailer had already gone. Um, I'd sorted out someone to come and pick that up and take it uh, away for Dad to come and pick it up and carry on the journey. Yeah. So obviously, the cattle weren't sat on the motorway for so long. And um, yeah. They didn't even know what that was. Exactly. Well, this is the thing. So as we get more and more people get to know about it. So first thing to do is make sure you know how to use it. Okay. Yeah, so be a good idea. this is a fire safety stick. Um, basically, it's really easy. All you do, you take the top cap off, and that's we'll also be showing a video of actually in action in a second as well. So basically, take the top cap off, throw that away. You then take the bottom end, which is basically like a surface similar to like a, a bottom of a match box. That's like a match, and you basically just put the two together and you just strike it. Yeah. and then just point it straight at the fire. Well, in this case, in the just old. leave it in there, exactly. <laughs> so it works on more types of fires than most of the extinguishers. So it'll do class A, which I think is like solid combustibles. Um, so people like fiberglass, uh, wood, plastics, that sort of thing, textiles. Class B, which is flammable liquids. So that's things like petrol, oil, diesel, alcohols. Uh, C, gases, so methane, butane, propylene, and so forth. Electrical appliances up to 100,000 volts and even F, which is cooking oils and fats, because uh, I know one of your other th hobbies is with, with the horses, yeah. and so you're going camping often with the, uh, with the horse box and yeah, what have yeah. you. So again, that could be great for the, uh, like the uh, cooking oil fires yeah. as well, potentially, which is another important thing for it. Um, it it's not like a powder or ex uh, foam extinguisher, it's a totally different system. So basically inside it is that. Mm -hmm. So you've got solid resin inside here, and what happens when you activate it, it starts chemical reaction. And basically, it works by removing the oxygen from the flame, but it does not affect your oxygen at all, okay? Yeah. So basically, what will happen is it reacts, takes oxygen away from the fire, it then becomes a thing called potassium oxide, which is totally inert, totally safe for you to breathe in, or even the animals, yeah. okay? So it's harmless to them completely, unlike a lot of extinguishers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that then just dispenses in the atmosphere. So again, it's all, it's all completely clean for the environment as well. I think the big factor, is just how light it is. Yeah, and how small it is as well to put yeah. into like a side locker or it, wherever, even in your bag. 
like your lorry bag or wherever you're going, just it's so simple. Exactly, and also it's so durable. So again, if you've dropped it or you know, no harm with it whatsoever, it will still work. It's we a solid can lob resin. it across the yard and it will still exactly. work. <laughs> Recommend you don't do that. <laughs> no, no. But if you did, <laughs> it will still be okay. If you go in an argument. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> And I think the other big thing, which obviously you've been proven for yourself here, is it's a completely clean agent. Yeah. So you get things like a powder extinguisher or even maybe potentially foam as well. Um, great to put the fires out, but can be very damaging oh, to all yeah. so corrosive. So had you used a powder extinguisher in that situation, um, it would have caused so much more damage, far more than the fire would have done. Yeah. Whereas I believe in your situation, once they checked it was safe. I you drove were, it home. You drove it home. With the lift up. I just drove it home. Yeah. <laughs> so that just shows again how clean the agent yeah. is and we've had so many examples of people in that situation where they've been able to carry on with their journey in one form or another because of it. Yeah. So really, I mean, it really is that, uh, that simple. And it's got 15 years shelf life. 15 years shelf life, it does not need servicing. Now we do recommend to do some maintenance checks on it. Really, really simple uh, and we'll have a link to show you in more yeah. detail. But basically, make sure you don't lose that. You'd be a good idea. Exactly. And in fact, <laughs> what we do is on a lot of them we have a tamper tag fitter. Yeah. So basically that's shown on there. Um, and you just break it off to good, but it yeah. means you won't lose that bit. I had a tamp attack on that, and I just pulled it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then just make sure the black resin on the end there is all nice and, and clean and still hard and what have you. And that's, that's it. it. As long as that's all okay, that's good to go. Yeah. And it really is that simple. So yeah, definitely recommend it. Not just for obviously you know, your haulage, you know, lorry drivers and what have you, but also again for the horse boxes. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone. So take the top off, you don't need that part. Take the striker off and just strike it. If it doesn't do it first time, do it to the second time. Point the vapour at the fire. Gas is really easy. One, two, three. If you spray the floor, you can see there's no mess. It will stop in a minute. Done. Over 350 approved distributors go to www.firesafetystick.com slash where to buy.